I think there's usually four common types of search intent. One of them is informational. The other one is navigational. The other one is commercial. And the other one is transactional. So I'm going to try and go through um, each and every one of them so that you have an understanding of what is the customer's intention with certain uh, searches that they make online. Okay. And if you've got any questions, just type them in the comments below so that we understand that this content is relevant to what it is that you are hoping to, um, you know, to achieve because our role and our job as your uh, digital marketing service provider is to help you make sense of the internet around you. It might be very confusing, but guess what? We're here to help you. So as I mentioned earlier on, search intent could be informational. Now, informational search is a search that comes when a user is looking for specific information. Like I said earlier on, people come to the internet to get information. People come to the internet to, 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 to be informed about certain products and services that they might be looking for, or so that they can make sense of the world around them. So it can be a simple search like, what is the weather today? That person is looking for information so that they can plan their day. Now, do you have services and products that warrant that somebody is, is going to have a good day. Maybe you sell umbrellas. Maybe you are a, um, a, 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 a place where people go to depending on the weather. So if you maybe have information like that on your website, Google might actually recommend your website as an informative site so that you can fulfill the need of this customer's information search. So if somebody types in something like, what's the weather today? They need to be provided with instant results, you know, and they're not going to be searching for somebody who's selling uh, plumbing services or somebody who's selling, um, you know, um, web cameras or selling lollies, you know, so results that they are looking for are pertaining to that particular search. All right. And now they need more information so that they can also inform their day or make plans for their day. So most of the times when people search online, they're looking for specific information. Are you the person to provide that content based on the services that you're providing them? And can you fulfill that pain with the content or with the products that you're going to be serving them? Next on the list uh, on search intent is navigational. In this case, with navigational information, the searcher is looking for a specific website or an app or a tool that they want to use, um, you know, to make sense of the world around them. So common searches of this, um, somebody is probably looking for, how do I log in to Facebook? How do I log into Amazon? How do I uh, log into my Google uh, platform? Where do I find specific information about this app or tool that I'm about to use. So all of that information, if you're uh, a service provider, let's say you are um, Facebook, can you have documents that show people how to start or create an ad account? Do you have documentation that show people how to navigate your, your app or like a wiki or best use uh, scenarios? All of that information comes through navigational. How are people interacting with your products or services? Have you got the information for them to latch onto so that they can have a good user experience of whatever it is that you're selling? Next up is commercial intent. Now the intent behind um, search is usually commercial. People are looking to buy stuff. So when a user types in certain keywords, they're looking for a specific product but they haven't quite made their decision yet, right? So if somebody searches for best pen uh, on, you know, you know, in the marketplace or best camera or best microphone, know that that person is looking to buy, but they still want to be informed. Next up uh, is transactional, all right? Here, it's obvious. When somebody types in certain keywords, where can I buy a pen? you know that the intention of that person is to buy. 
they've already made the decision that they want to buy a specific product or a tool. And it is the onus is now on you to make sure that you're providing them with an easy uh, one click like Amazon or an easy e-commerce platform or user experience for them to make that purchase. You know, examples of um, searches where somebody has a transactional intention is where can I buy a Nikon D500? Where can I buy a laptop or where can I buy, a, um, you know, where can I buy a tripod stand or where can I buy groceries online? Automatically, you know that that person is holding their credit card. All you have to do is make sure they don't put it back in their wallet. All right. So an SEO best practice is always to keep the search intent of that person uh, in mind. Because once you miss them or you lose them, that person is not going to come back again. So you want to be creating content that helps people navigate or follow through your sales process. So have a clear understanding of what your buyer's journey is and then create content that helps your customers navigate you know, through your website. Because guess what? There is so much information on the internet right now. All you got to do is help make the your audience world a whole lot easier. Okay. So if you are keen on finding out how else you can um, make, you know, the search intent or just really structure your buyer's journey, just in the comments below, let us know. We're more than happy to sit down with you and we can show you, uh, you know, our four-step process that we help our clients to actually navigate the world around them. That in turn will make it easy for people to buy from you, search your content and do business with you. Thank you.